Hey, hello everybody. Dan John here from danjohnuniversity.com. This is a little bit different of a video today. Today I'm doing, it's one of my hardest training programs uh, physically. I mean, it's, it's the big 21. So three days a week for just three weeks, you clean and press, you snatch, and you clean and jerk. Each one of those days you do 21 clean and press, 21 snatches, and 21 clean and jerks. Uh, the hardest part of the program is each day you start five pounds heavier. Now, for those who use kilos, uh, I've been thinking about this a long time, probably two kilo jumps between all the weights would be just fine. It'd be a little bit slower than the pound jumps, but we're, uh, it's, it's not gonna be a big deal. Whenever I do the program, I type up uh, all the lifts I have to do for the whole time, and I then I also now have an Excel spreadsheet. Today, I'm gonna start basically as light as I possibly can. I'm just gonna start with the clean and press and the snatch with 65 pounds, basically about 30 kilos. And I'm gonna go up five pounds every single lift. The first set is a set of five, the second set is a set of five, the third set is a set of five, and then six singles, and then we're done, and then we go to the next exercise. But what's hard is it just gets harder every workout. That's why it's only nine. So today I'm gonna to start off with 65 uh, pounds in the clean and press and the snatch, and I'm only going up to 105, which is nothing. Three weeks from today, I'll, I, I would, clean and press uh, on my single, 145 uh, snatch, 145, and on the clean and jerk, I'm gonna do 85 as you'll watch, and I'll finish off my last set uh, with 165. Now, the value of this program is this. Basically, in kilos, it's about 10K, in pounds, it's about 20, but you can open in a weightlifting meet with whatever you finish this with on the last day, those last, that last rep, you can probably open in a weightlifting meet with 20 pounds or 10 kilos more. So that would mean I would open the meet at 165, which is just not that much. But at my age, that's sneaking up on right on the American record. And in the clean and jerk, I'd start at 185, 85 kilos-ish. And uh, it would set me up to take a run at the American record. Now, obviously, I'm just doing this as an example and there's gonna be some issues throughout the entire time. I'm gonna put this down here. I really don't even need it that much any, uh, because I know the program. So basically the program is about slapping weights on and keeping going. With the clean and press, there is two, there's an issue you have to figure out what you wanna do with. Are you going to go clean and press, clean and press, clean and press, clean and press? Are you gonna go clean, press, 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 press? Or are you gonna go five cleans, and five presses. So I'm gonna demonstrate both. It's kind of up to you and what you need. Generally, for my thrower types, we do clean, five presses, move up. One clean, five presses, go up. One clean, five presses, go up. One clean, one press, one clean, one press. If you have other needs, you, you do what you have to do. So what I'll do on this one, I'll do five cleans and five presses just to show you. I, I don't necessarily like this. And by the way, I do use the duck stance and I also recommend that for my young athletes. Uh, that's basically you clean, frog stance, duck stance, heels together. This is what I do uh, when I do the big 21 because I tend to, it stops me from shooting my hips up. So if I have my heels together, I don't, I really can't just shoot my hips up. Every lift has to have a nice rhythm. Your mileage may vary. You might be much better than me. I, I doubt that, but I had to say it. So let's get started. On this set, 65 pounds. First set of five in the clean and press. Big 21, five cleans, five press. I don't really like this already.
Okay. One down. So, to go up five pounds, I put two and a halves on both sides. And you'll notice that throughout this entire workout, I, I will be breathing hard. It's, it's a lot of work, just to demonstrate. So, this time, clean and press. For throwers, for people who don't need all the Olympic lifts. It's not, this would be the harder version. Two and a half's come off, five's going. So what I have here, I have printed out workout number nine to explain to you and then workout number one I like using the spreadsheet on this and print it and off. Most of my athletes will come through and like check all the boxes, you know, to make sure they get through everything. Uh, sometimes you transition so fast between reps, you don't even check the boxes. Uh, let's keep going. Oh, this time I'll do the version of the clean and press for my throwers. The last one would be for Olympic lifters. This version is for throwers, maybe like rugby, American football players, who are, who are gonna get plenty of volume on the other two lifts, and they just need some extra pressing. And there's a low flying plank on overhead. So, one clean, five press. I remember why we do it that way. It's miles easier. Okay, so now we're sliding on. So our three sets of five are done, and now it's just singles. I think when we get to the snatch and the clean and jerk, it'll be a lot easier, because it's basically one movement. So we're at 80, and it's our, yeah, it's our first single, yeah. Sometimes you'll do this program and you'll kind of you'll kind of get lost because you go so fast switching the plates out and he'll go oh i'm done or oh got one more set it's kind of fun it's not that fun in workout seven eight nine but fun today so now I'm at 85, so I can bring in a, another uh, bumper plate. And this isn't pounds, and I apologize, but that's what I have. So today's workout will end up at 105. What's cool about the program is workout number nine starts with what I finished today. Just saying that out loud reminds me of how hard this program is.
So this is 95. We have this and two more to get the 21 presses. first three days are so easy, nobody respects them. The last three days are so hard, my athletes can't sleep the night before. <laughs> it's funny to say that. Just That's why it's just three weeks. Yeah, people say, what should you do after the big 21? I always tell them, you know, go on vacation, you know, find a new hobby. <laughs> yeah. I've done this twice in one year. That's the most I've ever done in one year. Sliding up to 105. This will be my last clean and press. And yes, it is linear, but it's only three weeks. And so I think linear works for about three weeks. Uh, I take my thumbs because the knurling on this bar begins to really rip on my thumbs. And I use the hook grip. So I'm in my boots today. You may with my black. Black on black, you might notice I'm in my outstanding Olympic lifting boots. I bought them at a specialty shop called Amazon, and I'm very happy with them. I think they're called Red Nordics or something like that. Your miles may vary, I don't, I don't know. And the clean and press is done. Now, off to the snatch. So, now when I, when I clean and jerk, uh, I'll keep those, both those bumpers on. And that's just something to, to remember the whole time is that I think the clean and press and snatch should be basically the exact same weights clean jerk 20 pounds heavier uh, that's a good rule of thumb you know it could be different for you but I would suggest when you get to the clean and jerks you've done 42 reps and it's just might not you might not be able to clean and jerk as much as you usually can because you are fatigued after three weeks when you start on to a normal Olympic lifting program whatever you do you'll notice your conditioning has changed as I Talk too much. So, five snatches with 65 pounds. Here we go. That's my dog. And even though all the lifts are light, it's still, you know, it's still for me a huge range of motion. So it does kind of kick in how tired you can get. So the first three sets are fives and then singles after that. I'm starting to be reminded why I used to be in such good shape. Okay, another set of five.
So this is the last set of five. <sighs> Wish I had something interesting to tell you right now. I will say this, uh, when I started this workout, it was blue skies and sunny. We have a storm coming in and I can feel here in my gym, the temperature dropping almost by the minute, which, you know, changes some things. What I want you also to hear is my breathing. Uh, I've been convinced a long time that for a certain kind of conditioning, Olympic lifting is all you need. You certainly can disagree with me, but uh, well, I, I, I think there's some real truth to it. Uh, after this set here, we'll go to the singles. So let's, let's march through it again. Time for singles. <laughs> you know, I'm not faking this breathing. What I've noticed through the years when I've done this program is that uh, it has that weird what the heck effect stuff come out of it. Like my my athletes would tell me, we would they would this is something we would do for three weeks. The week after we would do very general bodybuilding. In fact, to be honest, it's the bad kind of bodybuilding where we do a lot of curls and tricep extensions and things like that. But after that, uh we used to do this thing where we do a thousand turns in one workout. Three weeks, big 21, plus some throwing. A bodybuilding week, plus that one day, a thousand turns. Almost universally, the next week, my athletes would get personal records. So, it works. So, let's now move to the singles. <sighs> getting the reps in it's I'm getting smoother and kind of cleaner in every attempt uh, that's the biggest secret of it after doing each of these lifts that many times for so many reps thank you that was my mailman uh, good things just start to happen so let's keep popping this out I will have one little thing I'm gonna show you on the clean and jerk, and I, and I know this can be dull. Uh, if you're asking me how long uh, rest periods are, uh, I think rest periods are naturally uh, whatever you can do. Um, you'll notice by workouts five and six that you go very quickly. Workout seven, you'll probably go slow and then speed up. In eight, nine, uh, the last two workouts, uh, once you get through the presses, it seems to go pretty smoothly. Uh, your mileage may vary, of course, yes. All right, then uh, let's do this next single. I feel good. I used to always try to go faster on the singles when I was doing this. Uh, just Try to get the reps, boom, 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 boom. Do your best to do that. Let's 
go quickly. So, like I, I stopped last time in the cleaner press to say that I've got this set and two more to go because like I said, the singles go quickly. People ask me how long this takes. It takes three weeks. But each workout, since it's 63 reps, uh, you know, it, it's nine sets per exercise. So it's gonna be, no matter what you do, 27 sets. Uh, if you use the clean and press as a warm up, kind of like I do, uh, you can kind of go through the first two lifts pretty quickly. You know, somebody asked me one time if you could do it in half an hour. I'm like, you know, you could, I think, but whew, you know, <laughs> maybe, you know what, maybe the second go around. If you do the three week big 21, you have a gap where you do a few other things and you do it again. And yeah, maybe, maybe five to 10 pounds heavier at the start. You probably can go a little faster. Your conditioning will be specific and ready to go. Just, you know, just trying to talk so I don't have to lift. This will be it for the snatch. The nice thing is the clean and jerk weights are uh, gonna be set and I'll be ready to go. And I am gonna to teach you one small little trick with the clean and jerks that was told to me by somebody who had done the program multiple times with other athletes, which is the best feedback. Let's do this. My technique is, considering I trained hard this morning, my technique is okay uh, at the end of the, nine workouts it tends to be much better oh, nice. okay now I didn't I'm gonna reward people who watch to here now uh, there is one change we've made with the clean and jerk we don't do fives we do threes, and the reason we did that is because what we were doing was we are finding out that the clean and jerk was getting destroyed in this program. And by the way, if all you did was a clean and press and squat snatch here, you've got a good workout. It's good. In fact, that's not a bad idea for me to kind of explore. Maybe I'll do that for you. But on the clean and jerks, just three. And the thought on this from this person I trust is that Otherwise, you, you keep having to make the, you, you're doing too many reps in the clean and jerk and you can't get the load. You can argue all kinds of things with this. It doesn't matter. But uh, just, just, I want you to think about this for me, okay? So I'm just gonna do three, you know, I'll do three cleans and three jerks. You can certainly clean and jerk, clean and jerk, clean and jerk. You could also clean and jerk, jerk, jerk. Uh, but for my needs, I need more work on my jerk. So I'm gonna clean and jerk, okay? For three.
Now, you see how long that took? The argument was you were spending too much time clean and jerking those fives and just getting yourself beat up. Your mileage may vary. I tell you, if, uh, if you mix this program and then do my transformation program and then come back to this and go back, I don't know if you'll be a world champion or even good but you'll get all the benefits of the Olympic lifts uh, without, you know, destroying yourself, which can happen sometimes, you know. Okay, second of three. Sec this is my second set of the threes. Those little press outs at the top. That's something Dick Notmar always insisted I do. So, what I'm doing is I'm getting in shape for the actual movements. I'm not getting in shape just to get in shape. So I'm doing the movements like I would do in a weightlifting meet. Uh, I'm doing, I'm working on positions. I'm working on where I want to correctly hit the bar on the clean and snatch. So in the conditioning I'm feeling right now is, you can hate or love it, but it's specific conditioning. I'm getting in shape to Olympic lift, not getting in shape for exercising. <laughs> And uh, frankly, I don't. I think we've forgotten that in the United States, getting in shape for the sport, not just getting in shape. I mean, I don't care how. If you can do the job, I don't care what shape you're in. It's the job. Yeah. All right. Whew. Last set of. Yeah. Last set of three. Got lost there. Sorry. Okay, six singles. And again, this program never has looked like very much, but you can hear with my breathing how hard it is. Yeah. You know, funny if you want fat loss I tell people this all the time the Olympic list, you know they can they can take care of business you know it's just it's not as fun <laughs> you'll notice I'm not switching the music or 
you know, playing on my phone. Uh, you know, I'm just taking care of business. So, six to go. Whew. Let's make these pretty. Now I've done this with a lot more weight than you're seeing here, but uh, there's there's no there's no shame in building up to it. I've done this with substantially heavy weights, but uh, to go heavier and heavier, I found it. I had to completely drop out the clean and press. It's not a contested lift anymore. So I was just doing snatch and clean and jerk. So, you know, it was 18 sets, three days a week, and I could go heavier then. Now, that, that jump and volume on the clean, especially, uh, made it easier to go heavier. So once again, it's gonna be a balancing act and what you need. Uh, if you're just learning the lifts, this can be amazing. Okay, so let's get back to, so now, I gotta remind myself what I'm doing. Okay, clean and jerk singles. Sorry, I try to talk and comment and then I forget what I was doing. <laughs> it's funny. Almost done with the singles, almost done with the workout. Uh, the one nice thing about this workout is when you finish, you finished. <laughs> uh, anybody who says, well, should I do this now? Hasn't done this. Okay, so uh, I'm at that fun little place. I got this, and then two more singles, and then you're done for the day. I'm glad you watched. Uh, you know, Brian asks me for the website, danjohnuniversity.com, that I demonstrate these workouts, and I'm, I'm happy to do it. But when I do it, it's real time. I'm not faking anything. I'm not showing my abs off and all greased up and have all kinds of fancy crap. This is real workouts, real human beings. Uh, it's a knock. I mean, you can make fun of it if you like. You know, I'm not doing that perfect beach body workout or any of that crap you see online. But if you want to get better, there's some things to think about when I coach you, okay? Thanks. Let's get this done. Your conditioning does improve in the three weeks, and you can tell, but it never gets, the second time you do it, you'll, you'll feel it, but it's like you're, you're playing catch up, 
trying to get in shape for this. So if you do it, it'll make sense. So, if you do what I suggest and you use the Excel spreadsheet, uh, basically you're just going to check boxes for three weeks and uh, not many of you will finish it. And the biggest reason is you all start too heavy. Uh, I always tell people, you know, don't start 20 pounds, 10 kilos on your best lift. You know, start 50. <laughs> I mean, just make it ridiculous. When I was snatching over 140 kilos, I would finish this workout about 100. That's a 40 kilo difference. That's, that's a lot of weight. All right, this is my last set, and then we'll say goodbye to you guys, and thank you for watching, okay? And that's why I love this workout. I feel like I get my technique improves every set. My mobility and flexibility come around every set, every rep. And that's what I'm trying to do. Hey, uh, that's the big 21 workout number one, week one. I uh, started off in the snatch and clean and jerk with 65 pounds, ended up with 105 in the clean and jerk. Started with 85 and ended up with 125. If I finish the whole program, I will finish with 145s in the press and snatch and 165 in the clean jerk. Uh, thank you very much. I'm Dan John from danjohnuniversity.com. Thanks for watching.